today. Are you okay? Give me a thumbs up and special zing with creative energy. Good. Well, I've got a book. This is the book that I read to you in the last video. Have you seen it? Do you remember? It's called Hooray for Fish and it's by Lucy Cousins. So today I'd like to share some creative ideas based on this wonderful book. Would you like to come and have a look? Come and join me over here. So if you remember, this is the last page, and you can see all the beautiful coloured fish in the story. So here we have the Ellie fish with his long stripes, and here we have a sort of snake fish with short stripes. Then we have a happy fish with polka dots, big dots, and here we have an upside down fish with little dots. So all of these fish have got different patterns. This is a cloud or sky fish. This is an eye fish. So you see how many different variations there are. Now I've been making my own cut out fish, which I'm very happy to share with you. If you want to send me an email, I will share all these templates with you. You can download them and cut them out. So all you'll need is some scissors and then you can glue them to a piece of paper. So let me show you what we're doing here. I've got my piece of paper, and these are the examples of the fish. So once you've downloaded and cut out the fish of your choice, or maybe you've made your own fish, you're basically going to use a pencil and you're going to draw around so that you have that sort of an outline. Then you're going to choose a colour and you're going to, with the oil pastel or a wax pastel, you're going to create the outline of the fish like this, okay? Then, with a different colour, I suggest, we're going to give it a funny pattern. So I'm going to give this fish, what's this? Am I doing polka dots? No, I'm not doing polka dots, silly Joanna. I'm making stripes, aren't I? So that's what you're going to have done on your piece of drawing paper. Now over here I have a piece of paper where I've already prepared this fish. He's a rather, is he a happy looking fish? No, I don't think so. I think he's a bit grumpy. Anyway, as you can see, I've given my grumpy fish blue polka dots. And then I used my paintbrush with a bit of water and I basically gave, gave him a good old wash. I took water from the tub here and I painted water over my grumpy fish and then I took another paintbrush and I put it in my blue paint. Do you see how I'm rolling it around and it's creating bubbles? That's probably a good thing. And then I'm going to add, can you see what's happening? This is what we call bleeding. It's the colour, the paint is bleeding into the water. And basically, I'm putting my grumpy fish in the sea. Do you see how I can make the water move about? And if you get really very, very experimental, you can even lift the page and make the water flow down. Okay, so that's the sort of effect that we're looking for. So what else have I got in my picture? Well, I've got a piece of coral here, and I thought that I could give you a few other hints of what to do. So in order to give my fish a place to live, he's in the bottom of the sea, I can create plants, can't I? So I can do bits of decoration as per the book that we read like this. And then you just do the same thing. You take a little water, you go over the wax crayon or over the oil crayon. And remember, there's no wrong way or right way to do this. You just need to have fun. And then you're going to take a little bit of blue and you're going to go boom, 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 all the way up. And don't worry if it, do you see how it comes through? Don't worry if it looks very dark. It can be a dark corner of the sea. And that's the, the final effect. Do you see that? So it's actually a little bit like magic. All right, so the trick is wax crayon or even better, oil crayon if you have any. Okay, great. Well, have fun. Remember, get very, very creative. I want to see lots of patterns on your fish. Enjoy. 
Show me your work. I'd love to see it. Bye for now.